All right, guys, welcome back to another Warframe video. In the last video, I did my first impression of Ivara. And today, what we're going to be doing is heading over back to try to finally wrap up on Steel Path, the uh, Repolalist on Jupiter, which I left this because, you know, with the group, the fight's totally fine, but with this added difficulty of Steel Path, um, I'm expecting that this is going to be challenging. I toyed around with if I wanted to use Dante for survivability or Titania, um, and I decided I want to try to tackle this with Titania first. And my reason being is that, one, she has ultimate mobility uh, when she's in her uh, pixie form. I forget the name of this ability. I... You know, it's the four, whatever her four is, Razor Wing. That's it. And uh, because of that, uh, also she has access to Dex Pixa, which so long as you have energy to go into your four, you have unlimited ammo. Um, and also, of course, on her melee as well. So I do obviously have some new mods that I put on the Dex Pixa uh, from the last time that I really played around with Titania for doing anything other than just farming. Uh, so I did swap some stuff around. I've got my galvanized uh, diffusion and shot both maxed on there now. And I also swapped in some fire rate just to make it pump out uh, damage a little bit quicker. And I did accelerated isotope as well for that exact reason. Sure, I could get even higher fire rate if I formed, but I didn't want to have to form and then re-rank Titania again. So I settled on this is okay the fire rate 13.42 that's going to be plenty quick still got a good high status chance with a uh, slash being the top corrosive just behind it and then you know rad and impact down on the bottom so i don't really care about the radiation if it procs it procs it was really more for just a little additional fire rate on there and then i have not done anything with the dewata um which i don't use all that often. Thank you, Ortis, for telling us that. I really appreciate it. Uh, so, so what we've got on here is uh, the original setup that I had with some wasted mod capacity. Um, I've got eight left. So what I'm thinking might maybe make some sense is let's just take the melee prowess off. We'll put the galvanized elementalist on. And yes, that's not quite fully maxed yet, nor is galvanized steel. However, uh, I, I think it's going to give us the best chance here um, for getting a little more damage when and if we need to pull out the Dewada. So we've got heat as our secondary behind viral. Um, so I guess... I could take that one off crit chance plus crit damage that's going to make more sense than organ shatter so let's take that off let's put on galvanized steel and yeah by the numbers I mean it basically looks kind of tit for tat there's not much that really changed on this uh, but when and if we use it, the additional crit multipliers and status chance and the base uh, damage bump that we're going to get running in the background is probably going to make that a bit more useful. Now, I don't know. I mean, I don't use the Dewata all that often, so I'm not even th nah, I'm, I'm not even going to bother with that. So let's just leave that as is. We're going to try Titania. Um, we're going to stick with Torrid, Latum, and Glaive Prime as uh, what we're going to be bringing into the fight. Uh, my goal is to just bypass all the enemies, get to the boss, and hope for the best. Because um, I know the mechanics. Uh, from the last time I played this grinding for wisp parts, uh, I have upgraded my amp. It's uh, I, I forget all the things, but my clan leader told me it's called the 111. Um, so I guess it's like the best starting point outside of the base amp, but that's what I've been rolling. Um, I don't think I ever drilled in to show you specifics on that, but if you know what I'm talking about, then you know what it is. So that's what we're going to try, guys. I'm going to hop straight in. We're going to give Titania a go. Obviously, her survivability isn't on the level of, say, Dante, but she is nimble so long as I have energy to keep up her four. Um, 
But being that there's only a few rounds of ads they drop to be able to get ammo back, I was thinking that the Dex Pixa would be a smart way to do this. Uh, and then alternatively, on the heels of recently doing my Evara first impression, uh, if Titania doesn't work out, I'll just go back in. I'll, uh, you know, exhibit A. <laughs> the time and a place for Evara would be trying to solo Steel Path because I can just keep her invisible, keep the Nautaruk. Ammo doesn't matter on that. And with impunity, just do what I need to do on the Rope of Lawless, assuming it won't be able to see me, nor will the ads if they're problematic. So I've got a couple different ways I'm thinking about this. We are going to try Titania first. With any luck, we get right through it. If not, I'm going to try it again with uh, Ivara just to see how it goes. So here we go, guys. Fingers crossed. Jumping in on solo. Steel Path, Rope of Lawless. 140. Yep, yep. Not going to be easy. Oh, and uh, while I'm getting a little energy in the till here in the beginning, I do want to just make one quick comment because uh, I've had a few people in the last several weeks mention in my comments, hey, now that you're really pushing through Steel Path, it's getting harder. Some of the stuff you're having uh, trouble with, don't forget your summons, which I haven't forgotten about it. I just haven't set it up yet. And you know what? If I come in here with Titania and I fail, I may just load up into my equipment uh, some summons that I can bring in to help me. Um, so I, I have not forgotten. I just haven't set it up yet. So if we can't get through this, I will pop in. We'll do a little summon setup as well. And then uh, we'll probably just try Ivara next. I suspect that she'll be able to get through it because, um, you know, she bypasses basically all of the game's mechanics. For better or for worse, depending on your perspective, uh, that's just the reality of her kit. So... That's plenty enough energy. We're gonna pop into Razorwing, and we're just gonna Our zip on through here. Smoke, blurred by dreams, guided by ghosts. A voice, a void, lurks inside you. Its purpose not yet shown. Really, all we have to do but is whoops. I? As I My was getting ready to say, avoid nullifier bubbles. Given light by the Golden Lords. To build for them a better world but my family's journey was long time began to change their light creativity pride a will to live speedy speedy so the golden wrath came and after i was born a mimic a spy Conceived to burrow into nests and swallow the pitch eggs of their war machine, the Tenno. But when I saw you can see those bubbles, they're faces, trying to grab me. I took I'm not having it. Or so <laughs> we were told. All right. But in truth, we were both imprisoned in Lua's belly. My light remade by the creators. I became a memory, a ghost. We programmed to destroy my family, my people. Oh, good. My history. That's awesome. Yeah, I was I was hoping to but drop I before I even got into the fight. My family. Good grief. Together, we will overcome the flaws of our fight. The gods Get out of here. That could actually be a real detriment to the actual fight itself. Almost to the point that I think I'm just going to abandon. Come on. And flick back out through here. Oh, gosh. I don't know. I guess we'll just go for it. What happened, happened. Let's get the hound up. We'll get another passive energy. I think I'm going to know reasonably quickly if this is going to be a viable way to get through this or not anyway. So let's just start the elevator. We'll head in. They don't let you skip the cutscene here for some reason. That's interesting. That's the only one that I've not been able to skip if I wanted to skip in the game. I've seen it before. How about I need to see it again? Ropa Lawless. Okay, so I guess first thing first, let me try to lure it over to one of these. Turgid monster. There is some liquidity here. In my loyalty. Okay. So I can pop out of that. Let's get into operator form. 
<laughs> How exciting. But I do not think the moth will go so willingly to the lamp. I need to get more energy for my amp. Also, uh, don't understand why these shots aren't landing on the target. Maybe it thinks I'm hitting the edge of the... It would be mistaken. Oblivion! Ooh, ooh, that's not good. I guess it doesn't actually matter, but it's obviously not good. Come on, come on, come on, come on. These oh, come on. That's no just getting silly. Satisfied. Where's the stupid thing? Okay, it's over there. Let's uh just sneak around this way. Yeah, but maybe a little singed, are we? It's charged near capacity. What right now? Yeah, we definitely need more amp energy. Actually, let's get out of our four. I don't want that uh, automatically popping up the next time. Can I hit its wing? Yeah! All right! Almost there. Your great power, your great evil. The voice, the void within you. Our ancients still wither at There we go. Touch. But have you forgotten anyone? You were saved. But I? I was changed. Okay, that's one down. Now we're going to have to deal with some ads. Oh, this has gone from bad to worse. Excellent. So I guess first thing I want to do is just deal with the ads. Just get rid of them. See, this is why I was thinking going down that early was going to be a very bad thing. And turns out I was right. It is indeed a very bad thing. Oh, this is horrible. I don't want to have to be in Dex Pixa to try to deal with this. Yeah, this this is looking like a wash, guys. Why in the world do they have specters out? Not cool. Not cool. Honestly, Dex Pixa doesn't hit hard enough to be having to deal with this like this. Yeah, this is going to be super annoying. I mean, it's better than it was, but this is not an ideal damage platform here, really. Could be bad luck, or it could just be Titania. It's absolutely not the reasonable viable option I'd rather that's that's just taking me entirely too long good they have another Titania Spectre up okay so Titania is too squishy all right that's fine that's fine <laughs> it's, it's it's just too much to have to deal with while you're soloing the Ropa Lawless is lobbing homing missiles at you the ads have health for days and they're spawning <laughs> They're spawning specters of me. Okay, so we tried with Titania. Let's just see what happens if we bring out the broken frame. Where are you? What's her name? Ivara. Okay, Ivara. Forget the Torrid. We'll grab the Nataruk. 
leave everything else the exact same setup as last time. Sure, I can leave the Latum and the Glaive Prime. That's totally fine. Ready for action. I'm trusting that she will have minimal to no issues getting through this. I guess it depends on what happens when and if they spawn a specter in. If I'm invisible, will it know I'm invisible? Is it duplicating me and shooting at me? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't know why in the world they have specters that can copy my warframe. I don't actually remember that being in the normal version of fighting the Ruffle Lawless. Maybe I'm crazy. Or maybe they were there and it's just they're so much squishier in the early game level that you didn't even notice. I have no idea. Doesn't matter. We're going to try Ivara. Her energy is really fast. What's the deal with the speed of her energy relative to all the other frames that I have? That is going up noticeably quicker than when I cast this with, say, Dante or Frost. That's interesting. I'm not sure what that's about. I'm not mad about it, but it's interesting nonetheless. That's probably good enough to get us through where we want to be going. Whoops, not why. B. Oh, yeah. Our history is smoke. So we'll just Blood roll past all of this nonsense. Guided by ghosts. A voice, a void lurks inside you. Its purpose not yet shown. But what am I? So again, all we have to do is avoid nullifier bubbles because a nullifier will know that I'm here. Now, why is she popping out of her ability My like that? A farmer. My mother, I didn't run. A carpenter. Well, I did now, but before that. To build for them. A better world. But my family's Can I land down wrong. here? Time began to yes. change their light. Creativity. Pride. A will to live. Where is it that they want me to get? Over there? Uh, so, I just got to land here. Can I land there? This doesn't look right. I think I'm down too low. Is that what it is? Yeah. No, it's not through there either. Where in the world is the door? Oh, I've gone like way past it, I think, is what happened. No, not way past it. Just past it. So now we can roll again. So the golden wrath came. And after, I was born. A mimic. A yep. spy. Conceived to burrow into nests and swallow the pitch eggs of their war machine. The Tenno. But when I saw your tender Really? Faces, Come on. You're going to tell me that she didn't grab so the edge there? Told. Get out of here. <laughs> Truly doesn't matter. It's just... Uh, are you kidding me? Oh, look. A nullifier but bubble. Truth, Isn't that we cute? both imprisoned in Lilith's belly. My light remade by the creators. I became a memory. A ghost. Reprogrammed to destroy my family, my people. Let's just drop my these history. guys. But now I am saved by family. Together, we will overcome the flaws of our light, the gods of our creation, merging with them like steel, bearing amalgams with the weakness of neither. Yeah, I mean, you just do it right in front of their face and they don't even react. Look, like, oh, I thought there was something there. Where could they be? Yeah, like that. Why Why is that popping me out? All I'm doing is rolling. What is popping me out of the ability? I don't know. Don't guess it matters. We've gotten the story. We don't need to wait for anything else. We'll just head down. We know they won't let us skip this for some reason. So let's just see if the biggest cheater in the game will be able to solo fast 
to Ruffle Wallace on Steel Path. As you can see, Betrayer, I've made a deal with an even higher power. Uh, but when it comes to this turgid monster, there is some liquidity in my loyalty. Okay. Clever, but maybe a little singed, are we? It's charged near capacity. What now? What now is we just keep shooting it. I'm trying not to void sling intentionally in case you're wondering. Because I think on this precipice it could potentially pop me out of the map. And I don't want to be popped out of the map. Rather off the edge here. But no way to bring it to the beast. I wonder... Could you bring the beast to it? Yeah, I stand by it. I do need more energy for this amp. One or two more shots ought to do it. Yep, there we go. So Your now we just power. needed to get Your over here. The there we go. Our ancients still wither at its touch. But have you forgotten, Lua? Okay. Now let's go invisible and see how well this works over here. Oh, now you've made it mad. An opportunity, perhaps. Okay, well, that worked exceptionally well. What's left? Okay, that's two. Looks like the Ropa Wallace might know that I'm here, potentially. But that's not going to matter. At least it doesn't seem to matter. I mean, that could obviously be doing more damage. However, it's not bad, and I'm safe. don't think it's going to take that many more shots on this thing for it to be stunned. So I'm going to position myself near this button. Zap it. Yeah, I mean, this is appearing like it was an exceptional thought. Their voice and void. Suffer it well, ancient child. Do not relent. Trying to blast me, bro? This is 
is a very ornery, pterodactyl-looking thing. It is peculiar how there's nothing blocking your shot, yet it says you're hitting something that is disallowing the beam. Maybe it's the thing that it's shooting at you blocks incoming damage to some extent, and you gotta hit it just right. I truly have no idea. That's my best guess. Because I can pop it in the arm. Almost there. Okay. Hey, I wasn't sure I'd be able to make that. <laughs> there we go. That's two. So, so far so good, guys. We'll just waltz around, take these guys out real quick. Ivar is just going for a little walk in the park, no big deal. left just the rope lawless again great all right so we'll just kind of hang back over here and do just like we did the last time target and target and target I don't know if the rockets are actually targeting me in my invisible state or if it's just random where they land. No clue. Don't suppose it actually matters and this frankly isn't even taking that long. So uh, I have a sneaky suspicion we're getting through the Ropa Lawless solo on Steel Path with uh, the complete mechanic bypassing frame. If my first impression, taking a frame I've literally never played straight into Steel Path wasn't convincing enough, maybe this will be convincing. Ivara is overpowered. She just is. Go below list. Rise. Remain. And die. For the others to live. Sentient shields will deny any play you've got in mind. You'll have to deal with those first if you want to get a handhold. Where did you go? I can't quite see to shoot the arm there. It's a little too far away. It's a bit fuzzy. Might be able to hit it there. Yep. Energy, energy, energy. Can we hit it there? Yep. Not the biggest damage output. But this doesn't take too long. I can't quite see. Nope. So it's actually kind of messing itself up. It popped into the thing. It's just sitting there. It can't hit me. I can hit it. Almost there. A couple more shots. Or three. There we go. Yes, they 
that thing. Sizzle. All right. Yes, this is it, betrayers. Rid me of this, this thing, and I will be grateful for at least a few days. Oh yeah, it's these guys. Yeah, these guys would have been annoying if they could see me. Yeah, it is taking a minute to drop them, which I guess is totally fine. Looks like there's... Oh, it grabbed me. Even though I'm invisible, it knew I was there and grabbed me. So still don't get up underneath it. I guess that's fine. I need to finish taking out the rest of these guys. Where are they? Oh, whoops. Okay, so the Ripple Lawless can see me. I wish I'd stop toggling on her four. That's not at all what I'm trying to do. Stay out of the way of the bombs for a minute. Okay, that thing's finally down. I think if I look at the map, I'll see, yep, just the Ropa Lawless, so. I mean, she's taking a little damage standing over here, but it's not the worst. All things considered, this is going pretty quickly. Almost there. And done. That didn't get it. Seriously, it moved again? Wouldn't want to cook all those valuable warframe components. Okay, fine. Key options to consider. I'll have to just reposition for that last shot. Okay, so I just forgot to put myself in the position of the button at the end there, but uh, no big deal. Yeah, Ivara is, um, I'm sorry, the biggest cheese frame the in the game. Leaves this one. I'm only a I only rest. feel a little bit guilty about having used her I to get through this. No just a little bit guilty. Only conceive a plan as I said, there's a time and a place for every frame in the game, and that does include uh, this one as well. But uh, if you're going to sit here and pretend that she isn't complete cheese, um, I would have to question, question your judgment on that. And we're there. Okay, so Ivara it is. If in doubt, 
grab Ivar. Oh, yeah, there's the Furax. Yeah, that's where I got this from, which I had totally forgotten about. That's right, and you get sentient cores. I forgot about that as well. So, okay. Um, Titania? I think I kind of messed myself up in the beginning, but honestly, she was just the still so squishy. And, for the operator. and yep, Anything that wraps up Jupiter. So, yeah. Wait, what does that have? Oh, that was from series from the last time. Okay, that's fine. Um, so, where does that leave us next? We have Europa, obviously. I already opened the junction. So, we could start work on Europa next time. And Saturn, we also have that junction open. So we've got Europa. Then we can start the Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, Eris, Phobos, Sedna. Uh, Kufa Fortress, I believe, is also open now. And Deimos, I don't remember how we get to Deimos. That's from... Ah, we could go there now if we wanted to. It's from Mars. So... Looking at these... I'm not sure if that's separate or if they count as part of it. I'm guessing not because I feel like that was newly added, but maybe it does. Either way, I guess it doesn't truly matter. Um, but that does wrap up Jupiter and it does solo wrap up the Ropa Lawless. So. There I go again. Yeah, we, we did. I'm going to go back to Dante because. I'm sure I'm going to be wanting to use him next for something I'm working on in the background. Oh, yeah, wrapping up this week's Netra Cells. But either way, guys, uh, uh, I, if that didn't further illustrate the point, um, my position about Ivara, then I, I don't know what else I could possibly do <laughs> to, to try to make my point any more clear. Um, yes, she is fun. No question about it. She is fun. But uh, she, she is complete cheese. She is bigger cheese than Octavia because you press one button and you're in there as long as you want to stay in it. No work required. Uh, she's certainly bigger cheese than Loki. I don't know as though I would consider Loki a particularly cheese frame. Sure, I have him for nearly 30 second duration of invisibility, but he doesn't have other stuff to go along with it, really. I guess I could do the same thing with him throw a Nadaruk on him because he comes in and out of invisibility pretty quickly. So, yeah, I bet you uh, when we come for another test out another frame, Loki, I guess, is one worth testing out in Steel Path. Uh, if I just grab the Nadaruk and grab Loki, I can't imagine that I would have too big of a challenge uh, for the for the same reason that Ivara. Um, go invisible with a silent weapon. You can bypass basically every mechanic in the game. Of course, he can't do spy missions as well because he does trip laser grids, whereas Ivara doesn't. That is just so powerful. It's like, oh, it doesn't matter what what game mode you pick, uh, what, what map type you want to approach. Okay, sure. She's probably not that great at disruption. She's probably not that great at the ones where you have to let it drain your shield to carry the bomb to the end of the track. She's probably not that great at um, interception, but for anything that's just an outright battle of survival and taking stuff down, she completely bypasses the mechanic. So yeah, um, anyway, be that as it may, guys, we did get through the Ropa Lawless. I did try it with Titania first, uh, didn't go well, decided, hey, Let's put Ivara to the test again, and yeah, it's uh, she's just silly. She's silly. Um, you know, I'm sure there's plenty of Ivara mains. I mean no disrespect. If you're having fun, it doesn't matter what anybody else's opinion is. Um, you know, you're playing the game fair and square. It's part of the game. Use it. That's my opinion. Um, you know, any more than I would expect anybody that, oh, that's such a overpowered, oh, you know, do this. Uh, look, if you're having fun with the game, that's the point of the game. Games are supposed to be fun. Uh, but at <laughs> any rate, that's my thoughts on it, guys. So, yes, we did get through the Ripple Lawless. Titania, I probably could have gotten through it if I just stuck with her and tried it a few different times. On the heels of that very quick failure, I said, you know what, let's just try Ivara and put her to a further test. And, yeah, um, Anything that's just take this thing down. 
the way that she functions just makes it a complete breeze. I will be very curious to see what happens at the hardest difficulty enemies with her um, and really any other invisibility frames. It does rather feel like the strongest ability in the game is invisibility, just the way that it functions. Um, so, yeah, uh, it will make for some interesting future testing nonetheless. But regardless, guys, short and sweet today. That is going to do it for today's video. As always, I do sincerely appreciate you checking in, and we will catch you on the next one.